Hi, welcome to Kauzurvai's channel. This is the continuation video of capital structure. In the previous video, we have seen calculation of EPS that is earning per share under four different alternatives. You can find the links in the description box. In this video, we are going to see calculation of indifference point. Please try to watch the complete video to get the clarity about this topic. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my new uploads. Now let's get into the video. Before we see the problem, let us try to understand the meaning of indifference point. Indifference point refers to the EBIT level at which EPS remains unchanged irrespective of debt equity mix. Okay. EBIT stands for earnings before interest and tax. EPS stands for earning per share. Okay. So, indifference point is a point where that is we are going to calculate EBIT level at which earning per share is going to remain same irrespective of debt equity mix. Okay. So, for that we have one equation. So, with the help of this equation, we are going to find out the EBIT. Okay, at what level of EBIT, the EPS is going to remain same for two different alternatives. If we have more than two alternatives, suppose if we have three alternatives in that case, first we can compare alternative 1 and alternative 2. Okay, and then you can compare alternative 1 with alternative 3. Okay, so maximum you can compare two different alternatives at a time. So, this is the equation to find out EBIT level where the EPS is going to remain same. See the equation x minus i1 into 1 minus t minus pd divided by n1 is equal to same thing but for second alternative x minus i2 into 1 minus t minus pd divided by n2. Okay. So, x refers to EBIT that is what we are going to calculate. Okay. And I1, I2. I1 stands for interest on debt under financial plan 1. I2 refers to interest on debt under financial plan 2. And the next one, 1 minus T. Here also we have 1 minus T. So, T stands for tax rate. Okay. The corporate tax will be given in the problem. So, tax bracket is T. And the next one, PD. PD stands for preferential dividend if any. So, if there is any preferential dividend in the problem, that has to be subtracted. Okay. And then N1, N2. So, N1 stands for number of equity shares under plan 1. And N2 stands for number of equity shares under plan 2. Okay. So, this is the equation. With the help of this equation, we are going to find out the indifference point. That is, at what level of EBIT, okay, we are going to find out EBIT where the EPS is going to remain same for two different alternatives. Now, let us see the numerical problem. Look at the problem. Alston Limited wants to implement a project for which 80 lakhs is to be raised. So, how much is required? 80 lakhs. The following financial plans are under evaluation. Here we have two different alternatives, two different plans. Plan 1, issue of 8 lakhs equity shares of rupees 10 each. So, how many number of shares? 8 lakhs equity shares, each share price is 10 rupees. So, then you will be getting 80 lakhs. 8 lakhs into 10 rupees, you will be getting 80 lakhs. This is plan 1. Plan 2 is issue of 40,000. 10% debentures of rupees 100 each. That is, by way of issuing 10% debentures, how many number of debentures? 40,000 debentures. Okay. So, each debenture costs 100 rupees. So, you will be getting 40 lakhs by way of issuing 10% debentures. And issue of 4 lakhs equity shares of rupees 10 each. So, here we have debt and equity mix. The first plan is fully equity. And the second one is debt and equity mix. So, 40 lakhs in the form of debenture, the remaining 40 lakhs in the form of equity shares. So, these are the two different alternatives are available. And then, assuming a corporate tax of 55 percentage, okay, the tax rate is 55 percentage. So, with this information, 
they ask you to calculate the indifference point okay so this is the scenario and we are going to find out the indifference point by way of solving the equation okay simply we are going to apply the formula to find out the indifference point see the solution computation of indifference point of ebit between plan 1 and plan 2 so in this problem we have two different plans no plan 1 is fully equity financing and plan 2 is debt and equity okay so we are going to substitute the formula to find out the indifference point of ebit where the earning per share is going to remain same for two different plans the first plan is equity financing and the second one is equity and debt financing see the equation x minus i1 into 1 minus t minus pd divided by n1 is equal to x minus i2 into 1 minus t minus pd okay so x refers to what ebit so we are going to find out ebit okay with the help of this equation we are going to find out ebit okay the next one i1 i2 so under plan 1 i1 is a interest on debt finance but in this plan we have only equity so there is no interest under plan 1 okay and i2 refers to interest under plan 2 in plan 2 we have debt debt financing is there no so we will be having interest on debenture look at the problem see the problem in plan 1 we have only equity financing 8 lakhs into 10 we are going to raise 80 lakhs okay in plan 2 we have debenture as well as equity so how many number of debentures 40,000 10% debentures of rupees 100 each so 40,000 into 100 you will be getting 40 lakhs and equity shares also same amount 4 lakhs into 10 rupees 40 lakhs okay so interest on debenture is applicable 10 percentage on 40 lakhs is applicable under plan 2 see the solution so under plan 2 we have i2 that is interest under plan 2 40 lakhs into 10 percentage 4 lakhs okay the next one is t t refers to tax rate okay in our problem we have 55 percentage tax rate okay and the next one n1 n2 so n1 n2 refers to number of equity shares under plan 1 and n2 refers to number of equity shares under plan 2 look at the problem see the problem under plan 1 we have 8 lakhs equity shares of 10 each so how many number of shares 8 lakhs okay in the same way under plan 2 we have 4 lakhs equity shares of 10 each so here we have 8 lakhs number of equity shares under plan 2 4 lakhs equity shares so these are the number of equity shares under plan 1 and plan 2 see the solution under plan 1 number of equity shares 8 lakhs under plan 2 number of equity shares 4 lakhs okay so with this we are going to apply the equation and we are going to find out ebit okay see the calculation for plan 1 and plan 2 so plan 1 is only equity financing plan 2 is equity plus debt financing okay see the equation x minus i1 into 1 minus t and then minus pd divided by n1 is equal to x minus i2 into 1 minus t minus pd divided by n2 okay so here see the calculation x minus so there is no interest in plan 1 so 0 and then 1 minus tax rate is 55 percentage no 55 by 100 you will be getting 0.55 and then there is no preferential dividend in plan 1 as well as plan 2 so that you will be getting only 0 so put 0 in plan 1 as well as plan 2 and then divided by n1 n1 is number of equity shares in plan 1 how many number of equity shares 8 lakhs okay in plan 2 x minus i2 so i2 stands for interest on debenture is there in plan 2 so how much 4 lakhs x minus 4 lakhs into 1 minus t tax rate same tax rate 0 0.55 and then no pd 0 divided by n2 is number of equity shares under plan 2 how many number of shares 4 lakhs okay now just solve this equation x minus 0 
x minus 0, 1 minus 0.55, you will be getting 0 0.45. So, 0 divided by 8 lakhs. And then plan 2, x minus 4 lakhs. And then 1 minus 0 0.55, 0 0.45 divided by 4 lakhs. And then 0 0.5 into x and then 0 0.5 into 0. So, you will be getting 0, no. So, only we will have 0 0.45 x divided by 8 lakhs. For plan 2, 0 0.45 into x, 0 0.45 x, okay, minus 0 0.45 into minus 4 lakhs, minus 1 lakh 80 thousand divided by 4 lakhs. Look at this step, I am going to simplify the calculation. The reason is, we have bigger values like 1 lakh 80 thousand, 4 lakhs and 8 lakhs, okay. For simplification, I am going to divide by 1 lakh. Suppose if you have 60,000, 40,000, 80,000 like that, you can divide by 10,000. Suppose if you have thousands like 6,000 and 4,000, in that case you can divide by thousands, okay. So, here we have in lakhs, no. So, I am going to divide by 1 lakh. That is 1 lakh 80,000 divided by 1 lakh, you will be getting 1.8. And 4 lakhs divided by 1 lakh, you will be getting 4. And 8 lakhs divided by 1 lakh, you will be getting 8 lakhs, okay. After finding the final value, then you can multiply with 1 lakh to find out the exact answer. Okay, now 0.45x divided by 8 is equal to 0.45 minus 1.8 divided by 4. Okay, in the next step, we need to cross multiply the values. That is 0.45x into 4 is equal to 8 into 0.45x minus 8 into 1.8. Look at the calculation. 0.45x into 4, 1.8x is equal to 8 into 0.45x that is 3.6x minus 1.8 into 8, 14.4. Okay. So, after doing the cross multiplication, you will be getting the equation like this. Okay. And then in the next step, here we have x in both the sides. So, we need to transfer this x to left hand side. While we transfer this to left hand side, the plus will become minus, okay. So, 1.8x minus 3.6x is equal to minus 14.4, okay. Now, 1.8x minus 3.6x will become minus 1.8x because uh, the higher value is negative, no. So, we will be getting minus. So, minus 1.8x is equal to minus 14.4. So, here we have minus in both the sides, this will get cancelled. Then 1.8x is equal to 14.4. The next step x is equal to 14.4 divided by this 1.8 will become 1.8 here. Okay, now what is the answer for x? x is equal to 8 that is 14.4 divided by 1.8 you will be getting 8. So, x value is 8. After finding the x value, now you can multiply with 1 lakh. The reason is we have simplified the calculation by dividing 1 lakh. No, now you can multiply with 1 lakh. Now, what is the answer? x is equal to 8 lakhs. That is, EBIT is 8 lakhs. At 8 lakhs EBIT, we are going to get same EPS for plan 1 and plan 2. So, now we are going to verify whether we are going to get equal value of EPS under two different plans. See the verification calculation to check whether we are going to get same EPS under this level of EBIT, okay. So, according to the previous calculation, we have found that 8 lakh is EBIT where we are going to get the equal EPS under two different plans. So, EBIT 8 lakhs minus interest for plan 1, no debt finance, so no interest. Plan 2, we have 4 lakhs interest, okay. Then EBT, EBT stands for earnings before tax. So, 8 lakhs and then 4 lakhs. 8 lakhs minus 4 lakhs, you will be getting 4 lakhs. And then tax rate, how much? 55 percentage, no. So, 55 percentage on 8 lakhs, 4 lakh 40. And 55 percentage on 4 lakhs, you will be getting 2 lakh 20 thousand. And then this is earnings after tax, 3 lakh 60 and 1 lakh 80 thousand. 
and in this problem there is no preferential dividend okay the entire profit is available to equity shareholders 3 lakh 60 under plan 1 1 lakh 80 under plan 2 now apply the formula for eps what is the formula for eps earning per share profit available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares so according to plan 1 8 lakhs is the number of equity shares and under plan 2 profit available to equity shareholders 1 lakh 80 divided by number of equity shares under plan 2 4 lakhs so what is the answer 0 0.45 0 0.45 so we are getting equal eps okay for plan 1 and plan 2 at 8 lakhs of ebit okay so we have verified that at 8 lakhs of ebit we will be getting same value of eps under two different plans okay so this is the way to calculate indifference point and then verify the answer okay in the next video we are going to see calculation of leverages in detail you can find the links in the description box hope you like this video please hit the like comment subscribe and share with your friends thank you